presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. So everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through the word each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 12, NASDAQ up 132, SP's up 19. Gold, gold contract down $18.40, trading at 1833 an ounce. We have silver down 32 cents, 21 dollars five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude. We got to look at this one, man. Down 455, 84 dollars 68 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Here, the 10-year note down 14 ticks, up 14 ticks rather. Trading 10703. The 30-year up 25 ticks at 11114. And king dollar, king dollar right now trading down 205 ticks at 106794. The euro is at 105, the yen's at 149, the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone, our phone number is 877-927-6643. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, let's take a look at the futures first. See if this thing wants to make a little run coming into the close here. So we pull the futures up. Okay, so we... They, they, the overnight session, folks, was pretty dramatic last night. We went down to 42.35, and we're at 42.84. I mean, this was quite a run before the, even the open. Then what we did, let me see what we did here. I think it's, we did just about a 50% retracement. Now we did, we did a 61% retracement and then took off again. So let's pull this in. Okay, so where we stand right now, You're coming into, oh, this gets interesting too, you're coming into the downdraft of yesterday. Now, the downdraft of yesterday is right where you are right now. So, the last time that we were up higher, with the highs of the day here, which is the 42.93, we didn't have any volume. I expect what you're going to see here, though, let me see this for a second. So, we're, you're at nine minutes. So, it's just about the same type of volume, each one of these bars. You need a spike in volume. Let's go look at the NQs, because the NQs are stronger than the S&Ps, the E-minis. So we take a look at the NQs. The NQs, the low of the NQs was 14589 and we're at 883 How's that? I mean, that's quite a move, folks, okay? And, yeah, this is good. We, we're going to go higher into the close, because the NQs... Intraday, that's a high volume high. You pull back to strength, you still get a high volume high that's laying out there at 14,899. That wants to go for it, man. Notes and bonds. So we take a look at the note and bond market. Each one of them today rejected lower price. They had lighter volume and did reject lower price. So your 2.2 million contracts, the 10 year actually moved a full point from 10603. We're at 107.04 right now. You know, we'll see whether they can get any follow through. That's the bottom line is that, you know, we've had this a few times. 
It's come down, it's rejected it, and then it's just give it up in spades. We go to the 30 year. Take a look at the 30 year. Same setup. 30 year got down to 109.20, and that's up almost a full two points off the close. Off, no, off its lows, rather. That did 662,000 contracts. Let's go look at the TLT and see what that's doing. So the TLT is a 20 year plus ETF. The TLT out here, not much. No, this didn't do much. This just it went up 96 cents, but that's light volume. Then we get into the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. And what you're going to see is that, you know, the dollar is only back slightly, but it was enough to get the S&P going. You can see it back 257. You're at 106, 763. And then we go to the yen. So what happened with the yen last night? Now, check this out, because it'll be folks that trade the foreign currency market, particularly the yen, which a lot of people trade because that... The, you know, you, you got to carry trade this in the yen. You can see what happened last night. You know, the bottom line is that the yen went from 149.32 to 148.74. That is a monster move down. And the speculation was that the Bank of Japan got in the middle of it. You know, they're not saying a word. That's the real bottom line. Well, and we'll, we'll see how this shakes out tonight because this has been a one-way move with the yen. And in fact, if we go all the way back, look at this move. I mean, you're talking about from, uh, what, 136 months ago to 149. Now, that's a weakness, okay? When the yen goes down, the yen gets stronger against the U.S. dollar. And if that's what we have, that's when the gold really starts moving. You know, when the yen is weaker, you don't, you, don't get the, you don't get the strength behind the dollar. That's what it comes down to. And then we take a look at the gold contract what you're going to see is messing around with this 1831 it hit 1831 last night intraday i mean overnight couldn't hold price out here today coming down again not holding price yeah it has light of volume it's still not holding price though so the bottom line you need a rejection of lower price and the gold contract and then let's get over to the highly volatile silver contract so silver right now trading at a price point of 2107 same deal now oil oh man let's get a i gotta get a look at oil before this is segments up this is like intense they just threw everything out yeah that's it with oil holy cow that's quite a move man i'm not quite sure what made that happen but that just wrecks the whole uptrend in oil. Uh, maybe not. It's close. Oh, look at where it went to. Oh, my God. It just went to the trend line. It went to the trend line from where oil started at 69. So we'll see how it shakes out tomorrow. If it breaks this, then, then you're going to see oil all the way back down to the 69 bucks, man, which is pretty wild. Well, I guess it's not that wild when you think we already hit 95. You know, it only, can only go so far. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up uh, 106, Nasdaq's up 169, S&P's are up 31. So, you know, we've been hearing a lot about the aspect of, you know, how much fraud can be done, you know, in the nickel market, right? And, the, you know, there have been two big frauds, no doubt. Now, look at this one. Antiquated paperwork leave 25 trillion, trillion of trade open for defraud. They are relatively easy to fake, frequently get lost, and could add huge amounts of time to any journey. Yet paper documents still rule the 25 trillion global cargo trade with 4 billion of them in circulation at any one time. It is a system that's barely changed since the 19th century, but that depends on bits of paper being flown from one party to another has become a vulnerability for companies which move and finance the world's resources around the globe. And one high profile case bank is including ING, uh, discovered in 2020 that they had been falsified bills of lading, shipping documents that designated uh, cargo's details and returned for issuing credit to the Singapore Agricultural Resources. In another dispute, uh, banks have spent three years in legal wrangling to recover $3.5 billion from a collapsed fuel trader. Now, this is what's going on, folks, okay? This is what's so crazy about this market. The... the in my experience, and I don't deal with any of like what they're talking about right here, meaning the aspect of um, you have bills of lading. Well, I guess I do on a much smaller basis. But the reason that this is so open is that because they make so much money. That's what's going on. OK, because when I bring anything in from overseas, right, you wouldn't believe like <laughs> it's just so weird, man that you can have, like, pitch this. I'm a raindrop in, in the context of, you know, bringing something in, right? But I can have 14,000 to 25,000 out there at any one time, and they don't even bill you. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, it's like, oh, oh yeah, we're behind. And, and I've always said to my the customs broker, I says, man, you must make an awful lot of money when you don't bill people for, you know, two or three months for these kinds of monies. And they don't even answer the question. You know, but I've found that when you have something like that, that means the spreads that they are using is, are astronomical. And there's, there's some other reason behind that right there, because we know that everything's digitalized. We know that, you know, I mean, are you kidding me? 
you know, so there's, there's, there's a whole, that story, there's a whole underlying deal that's something else under that story because, yeah, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. Let's go take a look at some of the high volume equities out here today. So you have Tesla up uh, thirteen and a half dollars. Well, let's do it this way. Let's go into the NDX first. So inside the NDX, you got Tesla is up five and a half percent. Series up four and a half percent. You have uh, Trade Desk up three point eight and AMD up three. Taken away from it, Dexcom's down four. You got Diamond Energy off four. Baker Hughes is off three. Okay, so let's go to the XLE. See what the heck happened with this oil market. It just imploded for sure. Okay, so the XLE, yeah, that's the end of the that's the end of the oil market. Let me put this on a weekly. Okay, so now you're going down to the bottom of the consolidation. Now, we were talking about this consolidation yesterday, man. And that so Conservatively, the bottom is 76 and you're at 85. That's one bottom. But now you get the second bottom is laying down there at 65. And that's what oil loves to do. That's the bottom line. That's what it likes to do, man. So that's where this baby's going to go. We'll take a look at ExxonMobil. Same setup, yeah. Let me see this thing. So... Yeah. So you really got to make some choices, you know, when you take a look at these types of consolidations because, you know, when you can't blow them up, now with Exxon, you're at 111, then, you know, 95 is game again. It's 95. Yeah. 99. 99 is game again. CVX. Yep, same deal, and this is where Doug is going to go to the moon. Yep, another 80 cents. That came off the bottom yesterday. You know, so now you got, you got Doug is the 200% correlation to the XLE. That's what it comes down to. So, this, uh, let's go back into oil for a second. I want to see what they're saying news-wise out here, so. Okay, so this is just, this just got hit, you know, five and a half percent because they figure you get economic worries. That's, that's kind of what it looks like, which is pretty wild. You know, we'll see if that's the case, but uh, that's how that thing is set up right now. And, you know, what, what we did have this morning, folks, is that we had a ADP number that came in, you know, shot. So the bottom line is that, um, you know, we'll see whether the jobs number comes in on Friday light the same way. But as I was saying last week, this whole thing about jobs that are out there, you know, before people who quit, they get five jobs in a second. That whole deal is over. It's all over. And, we've, and <coughs> most of us won't see it in our lifetime again. You know, it, it's going to go back to the deal that, you know, it's hard to get a job, keeping a job's one thing, but the bottom line is that you just don't walk out and get five jobs off it at the same time, which, which we definitely had, you know. Let's go take a look at that S&P for a second. Let's spike, yeah, you get that spike. See, there's the spike right there. So now you're dealing with, what is that number up there? It's uh, 4317. That thing can be game to 43.17 on the Qs. It's going to grab everything from yesterday. That's what it looks like it wants to do. So we take a look at the Qs. Same setup. Look at that. See that spike? So on the Qs, you're talking about uh, 9.74. And you're at 9.26 right now. This, this spread on the Qs, man, is something else. 5.89. Yeah, to 9.24. And then, let's just see how fast the VIX is dropping. Yeah, so we got, we got up to 
2088. Right now you're dealing with 1877. So 2088 actually took out the last swing high that was up there. We'll see how long that's going to last. But tonight is going to be some. It's, it's going to be tonight. How this dollar reacts tonight is going to be a big deal, and how the Bank of Japan acts tonight. That's that's kind of how that shakes out. We had, we had a question in the den. You know, will they come back in tonight? You never know when the central banks are coming in, folks, okay? And most times, the central banks actually lose, okay? But when they come in hard, the bottom line is that they, they, can, they can change things for a few days. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 88 to get the NASDAQ up 169. S&Ps are up about 29. And let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look. Well, first, I want to take a look at this chart because the Dow, you know, has been pretty weak, actually. Yeah, so it's got down to its strength from May. Now, you've rejected lower price out here today. Put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, that can be a normal pullback. Mm 
and then inside the Tao, the strength versus the weakness. And this is also going to be all about the aspect of the dollar. Man, the dollar just moves everything. That's the bottom line. So you got Microsoft putting 37 positive points. You got Amgen putting 29. Salesforce putting 13. Taken away from it, Caterpillar minus 30. Chevron minus 29. Boeing minus 19. Now, you know what gets real interesting here, folks? Listen to this, man. So let's go back to the oil market for a second. This is Now, this is where... I suspect oil, you know, wants to pull back pretty dramatically right now. Yeah, two different things ended up happening. So listen to this. When this pullback was starting today, right, you had Russia and the Saudis come out reaffirming that they're going to keep production cuts. Okay, so just the opposite probably should have been happening inside the oil market. But they sold it off beyond belief. Okay, so... Saudi Arabia and Russian's energy ministries reaffirmed this up this morning the extension of their voluntary oil production cuts to the end of 2023, which is only 90 days, by the way, and two separate statements um, October 1st. Earlier the same day, European light sweet crude benchmarks fell from 95 to 90. The decision to maintain the cuts point to Saudi Arabia's and Russia's desire to keep oil prices at a floor of between 80 and 90 per barrel, although if prices pass 100 and stay there, Rehad might unwind some of the voluntary cuts. Well, guess what? You're a long way from 100 bucks right now, and it doesn't take much. So, you know, this is, this is one of these deals is that the market itself has basically done the destruction. So if we take a look at this, this is big volume too, by the way. Yeah, you get 427,000 contracts, yeah, and it, listen, it makes sense too, okay? Because if you take a look at CL1, watch this. We put this on a generic chart. If there's, if there's less jobs out here and the economy's gonna slow down a bit, economies are gonna slow down a bit. The bottom line is that why are you gonna have $100 oil? Now look at this, this gets interesting, man. Because when you actually look at this on a long-term basis, this is only a bounce, man. That's interesting. Holy cow. Yeah, we did like a, almost a, just a, about a 40% bounce from the highs. That's one way. Let me pull this about this way. That's the one high. Let's pull this high. It was a 38%. 38? No, 50%. This, yeah. So it's not that much, really. In the context of where oil has been, I'll, let me pull this back. Let's do the really a long-term chart. This could get interesting. I want to see how this sets up, man. I'm going to do a 30-year chart because even though we think oil is expensive right now, that was a, a decent bounce. But in the context of where oil has been, this is a weak bounce, man. Yeah, it is. This is a weak bounce. You can see it. This is, I did a 50-year chart here. Uh, you, you can only see right now uh, 25, I believe. Yeah, because I can't make it that small. Well, I can, but then you'll see nothing. So you can see, pull that over, come on, pull over. Yeah, this is weak, man. Yep. I'll set it up again. I'll, I'm just going to set up a 30 here. Come on. There it is. So on a 30 year, we had the spike to, look at that, 130. That was 130? Yeah, 130. It's coming down the other end now. That's the bottom line. So that's gonna, well, let's go to Transocean. That's gonna affect a lot, man. It's, gonna, it's particularly gonna affect inflation. Because we, the inflation numbers have come down anyway. They start coming down on fuel. It's a whole different ballgame. Yeah, so we take a look at Transocean. This is a deep water driller, which would be one of the first ones to get hit. Because what happens is that the deep water drilling is a lot more expensive than, you know, basically drilling on, on uh, dirt. So this just got into, well, it's, yeah, it just got into, into its lower range 7, 769 brings it into the range that 769 to 543 
And then if you get into this 536, then you get a totally different deal happening here. Put this back. Yeah, you can see this just been bouncing around. There's going to be a... Those oil numbers, though, will bring down inflation numbers in a monster way. Because the last numbers, the last inflation numbers that come out, folks, okay, um, they were good. They were coming down. The only thing that was raising them up was the oil market. And you can see right now this market wants higher price. They're running this market, man. Let's go see if the dollar is going lower, too. It is. There you go. Step for step, man. There we go. You can only press it so long. This is going to get wild, man. So the dollar just gave up 100 ticks since I've been on. And you can see the dollar gives up 100 ticks. As the dollar gives up 100 ticks, the S&P goes up 10 ticks. No, the S&P goes up 17 ticks for 100 ticks. And we just got volume again. You can see that, that high of yesterday... That's where it's shooting for right now. It's shooting for that 39. Is it 39? I said a 17. 43, 17. And then the Qs. So it, it's Tuesday today. So it's, it's early in the week, man. No, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. That's right. So you get a, you get a run. We'll see where this shakes out. But you can see, yeah, the NQs are running for the same deal. The NQs are running for the... Not the high of yesterday, but before the market fell apart. 974. You're at 949 right now. 974 is game. And then let's look at the overall index volume. Because what you're looking for today is you're looking for lighter index volume because we went to lower lows. If it rejects lower price and you have lighter volume, then you get something. So right now the index volume on the NYSE is 489, which, which is good. That means we're coming in about 4, uh, 850. Inside the composite, you're at, oh yeah, composite. Let me look at the composite. This is good. The composite's only at 3.5. Oh, but the composite went up, man. The composite didn't go to lows. Yeah, see, the composite, this is tricky, man. This is still tricky, you know, because the composite's going up on light volume. You know, it's holding price, but it's going up on light volume. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now trading up 134, NASDAQ's up 193, S&P's up 36. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Dow, Dow just shows up 129, NASDAQ's up 192, S&Ps are up 35. You know, listen to this, man. This is, there was a story about this, about Pringles, two days ago. This one's about Walmart. Okay, so you have the new... Um, diabetes drug, which people are also using for weight loss, right? Uh, Ozempic. And Walmart says Ozempic is causing slight pullback by shoppers. Now listen to how, how they do this. We are definitely, we definitely do see a slight change compared to the total population. We do a, do a slight pullback in, over, in the overall basket. The chief executive of Walmart, sprawling U.S. operations, said in an interview Wednesday, just less units, slightly less calories. Now, watch how they do this, folks. Okay, this is wild. The, well, the uh, Arkansas-based retailer is studying changes in sales patterns using anonymous data on shopping populations. It can look at the purchasing change, changes among people taking the drug and can also compare those habits to the similar people who aren't taking the shots. Furnace said it's too early to draw any definite conclusions about the appetite-suppressing drugs made by Novo. It's just really wild, man, how, you know, there's an article. It, but now, that's one side of the scale, right? The other side of the scale goes like this. The other side of the scale is that Walmart's turning into, Walmart's going to turn into a, you know, all these walk-in ERs folks, okay? Walmart's going to turn into a full-blown, like, uh, ER deal. That's, I mean, that's what they're building out. So the other side of the deal, they lose one place here, but the other side of the deal, they sell these drugs. So the other side of the deal, in August, they said they were given a retail revenue boost. U.S. sales of these medicine increased 300% between 2020 and 2022. Now, that being said, they still expect food consumables and health and wellness, uh, primarily due to the population, uh, to grow. The thing that's wild, that, so this one here, they didn't say anything about the, uh, the aspect of what are they going to do. Um, the one about Pringles, okay, <coughs> excuse me, was all about the aspect of they already had seen a downtick, and they were trying to figure out how they're going to basically get around this deal so that, you know, bottom line, whether you're on the drug or not on the drug, that you still have a craving for, for the, you know, food. This food business, man, you talk about, you know, technology inside the food business to basically keep pushing out bad food is, is pretty intense, man, you know. And, they, and then they're, they're right up front with it, man. The, the Pringles deal was like right up front beyond belief. It's like, okay, we've, we've dealt with this before. We'll deal with it again. And, you know, they just get, they, they use different ingredients. They, they that's that's how it works but it's pretty amazing man it's now that the matching you can see how much information they have the matching is so easy because um you know of course when we go through the lines we're always using you know our, our own credit card whatever that is right they can match that they know what your buying habits are then they turn around and you know in this particular case is that they're buying other list and they're matching those lists up and they're saying okay this right here, we got to watch out. We're not going to be selling enough of this. 
And you know, the middle of the aisle is where they make some big dollars. And you can see that in the context of, if you remember, you know, first you had gas stations, you know, I'm going back 50 years now, but the bottom line, you had gas stations that, you know, never sold a thing, and we'd come out and pump your gas, right? Then you had the aspect about 30 years ago that gas stations started selling food. Now, gas stations, if you go to a Wawa, I mean, you must be, be going, the, it is filled with stuff that just kills you. <laughs> I mean, it's like, and everyone buys it. I mean, you know, and I can see, listen, I'm, I'm just as bad, man. If I'm on the road, um, the bottom line, you know, I don't buy it every day. But let's say if I'm doing a road trip, like Bridget and I, we just came back from Atlanta and we picked up uh, a German Shepherd, right? Yeah, I stopped at Wawa, ended up getting a sandwich, which I, you know, never should have ate. And then I didn't buy any junk then, but the bottom line I have, I have, you know what I mean? If you're on the road for three or four hours, you go in there and you can't help but look at one of those things. And most of the time, I hope I buy cashews, but the bottom line is that the amount of money that's made at the Wawa's and the Thorntons of the world is huge. And that's the whole snack aisle. The snack aisle is a big deal, man. There's, there's no doubt about it. Now, let's go take a look at Walmart because you got, this has been a strong stock, man. You know, we're at 160. Close that. They're going to be looking for, let's see, they're coming in. Get rid of that. Got it. Okay, I got it. November 16th is their next earnings. They're going to be looking for 158 billion and a buck 50 to the bottom line. So they're going to, they're coming in a little light here. But that being said, look at look at they're talking about 642 billion in a year and they're still growing by basically 2.5%. Actually 2 and 3 quarters percent per year in the United States. Internationally, they're contracting by one and a half percent. You have, look at Sam's Club, though. That's a small number, though. So Sam's Club takes in 84 billion out of the 642 billion, but they're growing by 4.2 percent per year. That's a big number, man. On 80, yeah, on 84 billion, that's still a big number. I'm not quite sure what corporate and support is. So if we take a look at this chart, yeah, you can see how strong this is, man. You know, the S&P is pulled back. This hasn't even pulled back, man. Yeah, this is, and what consistently is happening out here too, folks, okay, is that it's very hard for, you, you, if you have a corner store, a small corner store that has a lot of variety, that can still make money. But that's very hard to do when you don't see a lot of them. The middle road is done. And the middle road would be, you know, remember you had the, uh, oh, who just, like the Winn-Dixies, they're, they're gonna be gone. Even though they, you know, they've been having, having a hard time for like 15 years or something. Um, you know, that, that's kind of gone. Publix will be there, but people are going to catch on that they're so expensive. Target is expensive. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes in the longer run. But as soon as inflation start hitting, you know, I think Walmart picked up a lot more business. And once you start basically picking up business and realize how much you're saving, it's like, you got to be kidding me, man. You know, every, every, you know, to go there for a few things, you know, you, you can save 40 to $100, like in about a heartbeat, so. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, up 89. You get the NASDAQ up 166. The NASDAQ's got a good bid behind it, man. Let's take a look at this composite. Yeah, that's a decent bid, there's no doubt. You're inside the range again. And we'll see what they can get followed through tomorrow. It'll be all about this dollar tonight. Stay right there, folks, come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow, Dow Industrial is up 135, Nasdaq's up 180, S&P's up 34. Sam Bankman freed, right? Bottom line, this trial's starting today, folks. You know, and it's you know it's amazing. There's so much stuff happening. I mean, if you remember when Madoff was, you know, his big fraud, that was like the story of the day every day. But there's so many stories now, man, that this is like getting buried. But the, the trial actually started today. They got, uh, and this gets intriguing. They have nine women and three men on the uh, jury, already picked. You know, so it actually, the jury got picked. It started. We'll see where the rest of this thing shakes out, but pretty intense, man. You know, I mean, we'll see how long it's going to take and who is going to be saying what, you know. So, and one of the, the check this out. So you got a 68-year-old retired investment banker from Solomon Brothers. So, I mean, he knows what's going on, that's for sure. You got a, uh, well, I'm sure they all know what's going on, but it, it's intriguing. What, what they did do, though, that was interesting. What they did with this story is saying that what they did do is that the folks that actually knew something about crypto, um, they didn't put on the jury. But, but that's both sides. That's both sides. So I'm sure that, uh, what was that? There's a TV program. Oh, I know. What's that TV program? That's great. About the aspect of always picking the jury, right? And I'm sure this here, they did a lot of work on that. Nine women, three men. Why is, why is it nine women and three men? You know, I don't know. But uh, I, I suspect we'll find out when this comes down. And, you know, my take is that uh, he's going to be in jail for a long period of time, man. That's, 
That's about as intense as you get, man. Market wise out here, it looks like uh, the bottom line is that, you know, the ADP number came in. You know, the jobs number's got to come in Friday, and more than likely, you're going to run it right into the jobs number. That's what it looks like to me. They're speculating there's a jobs number. And the ADP, you know, can be off quite a bit. But the bottom line, the market right now is speculating that that jobs number is going to come in good. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off. Great show. Look at him, folks. <laughs>